What up YouTube, Mackie here with GC Global Gaming. It's been a while since I made a video, so welcome me back. Now, let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and do a review of the weapon tuning test. Now, for starters, I want to say that I don't think anything should be weapon tuned, except maybe the railgun. Uh, camo should be upgraded a little bit. Overshield should be upgraded a little bit. Mind you, these are my opinions. Other than that, I think everything else is fine. So, for starters, we'll go over the battle rifle. Now, in my opinion, the battle rifle has the most drastic changes of all. Maybe because it is the starting weapon, and that's probably why they made the starting weapon, because it has the biggest changes in it. And I guess you notice it more than the other ones, because you use it every game you play. So, talking about the battle rifle, um, it's uh, not reliable anymore. They made it less powerful from long range less powerful from close range it also has a random spread instead of a reduced damage or less auto aim assist which I feel like those would have been better alternatives to what they did now if you go ahead and play a game go ahead start up shoot the wall and look at the where the bullets are landing and then go into a custom game and look where the regular BR is landing the shots are random kinda like pretty much like Bloom and Halo Reach which honestly is unfortunate I think it's anti-productive to a first person shooter with uh, accurate weapons such as a battle rifle precision weapons carbine and whatnot also the battle rifle when you zoom in uh, down the scope it looks like the screen the whole screen is shaking maybe that's another way another, another way they did it to make it uh, more difficult to use because it's sure working for me <laughs> alright on to the carbine Carbine's a great weapon that a lot of people don't use or utilize. It shoots fast, and it's about, I think it's seven shots to, for a perfect kill. So, same concept. They gave it a random, blue, a random spread, meaning every now and then inside your reticle, it'll land on somewhere in that area. Instead of um, not going to where you want it to go and reducing the damage potential or the auto-aim assist. Those two options, I think, would have greatly improved the improvement of the weapon because carbine is a great weapon. If they would have, uh, you know, reduced the damage, you could still, uh, you know, hit shots on people, make them back down, but not have enough power to kill them like you, like you're usually able to. A DMR, I haven't got to use it that much because honestly, I haven't played the this playlist too much. But the DMR, from what I read online on Halo Waypoint, make sure you guys go check it out and leave some feedback. Is that it was too powerful close up, so they uh, nerfed the close up. I don't know how, but they did it, so it's more difficult to use in close quarters combat. But again, it has the same mechanism as the battle rifle does and the carbine does. It uh, has a random spread, which improves is a luck based game type, not a skill based game, which honestly I don't agree with at all in any first person shooter, especially Halo. No one likes it when you're shooting a guy and he's one shot and you're hitting him in the head, but because of random, your random spread, the bullets don't hit his head. This is very unfortunate. <clears throat> very, very, very unfortunate to Halo. But, you know, it's just a test. There's still two weeks left, so hopefully... Well, we all know that these aren't going to be the real changes. That's why they're testing it. Alright, uh, the Gunfighter Magnum. In this video, I'm using it the whole time. I personally think they beefed it up. Uh, watch videos video proximities video video touched on the gunfighter magnum he does a real good job of going into detail of each weapon and even you know compares and contrasts the pre-update versus the update uh, the differences so make sure you guys go check him out the description will be the link will be in the description below make sure you guys check out proximity his uh, YouTube channel will also be in the description below but the Gunfighter Magnum has a really big recoil. If you go ahead and shoot it without holding the, the aim, the joystick to aim, it'll just run up like an automatic, which is pretty absurd, which makes sense because it's super hard to keep it on target. I don't think I've gotten one perfect with it yet. I do like that they gave it an extended mag, so you know, probably because they know you're going to miss a lot of shots. Uh, anyways, Gunfighter Magnum. Railgun, railgun. Railgun definitely could have used the nerf. Railgun, if you don't know how to use the the rail the standard railgun that's in game right now, 
go ahead and learn how to use it and play with it. It is, in my opinion, the most powerful power weapon in the game. Minus the sniper can arguably be better or worse, but Railgun has a bigger reticle. It does splash damage. I mean, real, you can you can just literally destroy with the Railgun. And so they nerfed it. They gave it a longer... You have to wait about a little bit longer now to let it uh, to let the rail shoot, which is hard to get used to since you've been playing it for two years at a different time, a different timing mechanism. So your brain is just takes a while to get used to it. But I do think that that is a good nerf, a good uh, update for the rail gun because it is pretty powerful. But I think they might have nerfed it a little bit too much because you can almost get four shot in the amount of time it takes you to shoot off your rail gun. And there's one railgun per map. Whoever has it should have an inherent advantage on the map. It's called a power weapon. Makes sense. But I like the railgun and what they're doing with it. Um, we got the light rifle. I haven't got to use the light rifle much, but I'm assuming they nerfed it in the same way they did every other weapon. This is pretty much uh, just a nerf update, if you will, minus the camouflage, which I don't think even got any better. I personally can't tell the difference. Maybe it lasts a little longer. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about all these things I'm talking about. The sniper, haven't got to use it much, but the website said they're reducing the accuracy uh, of no scoping because people have just been destroying people with no scoping, which, I don't know, I like it. I don't think you need to fix a sniper. Beam rifle, same thing. It was too good. D scope, so that's what they're doing. I haven't really got to use it much. I don't get eaten a lot. I get regret all the time and stasis. Uh, automatics. All they did was make uh, initial bloom bigger, which doesn't make sense because if you want to tap an auto to keep the bloom down, it's not doing it because they did it backward. You're supposed to have a, in my opinion, they should have a bloom at the end while you're holding on the trigger, not an initial bloom. The initial bloom should be small, and then while you're holding it, it should be bigger because the guys are just holding it in spray. But if you're tapping the trigger, it should stay, you know, somewhat decent. But that's not the case. They did it backwards. The storm rifle is still OP as fuck. I haven't seen the brute plasma rifle. I haven't got to use it. But in my opinion, they should just reduce the damage and reduce the auto aim for certain weapons to make them better or worse, you know, to make them more fair to balance them. But... I think this game is pretty well balanced, if you ask me. The sword. Oh, the sword. They took away the sprint. And notice that. Alright, guys. This is about wraps it up. Make sure you guys go over to Vito, Vito's uh, YouTube channel. Check him out on Twitch. I'll leave the links in the description below. Make sure you guys also check out Proximity. I'll leave those links in the description below. Because I did watch their videos to prep for my video. So... Make sure you guys go over to their page and subscribe and like them. But if you're watching my video, I can almost guarantee that you're watching them. Uh, but if y'all in talking with them, let them know that I'm trying to get big on YouTube and maybe we can collab together. And if you guys want to you know, get online, get some matchmaking in, hit me up. Gamer Tag is GC Global Gaming. No spaces. All right, guys. Take it easy. GC Global Gaming, connecting gamers globally.